Hi everybody, this is CBGS. I'm the captain here and I got Dempster. Hi! And I got three d here. I got Ben, Hi. Brian, Hi. I got John. Hello. Hey, my Ben, your hand is so, so far. You never see your head. Good boy. Hey. 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 This is mine. This is mine now. So. And today, <laughs> Happy New Year, guys! Happy New Year! <laughs> As a New Year's treat, we're actually going to be doing a quick unboxing video for the two uh, supply sets for uh, Night Rose and for Harry as well. Yep. So we finally got our hands on these and we finally able to showcase this right here for you guys as a special New Year's mm. treat. Be so, uh, before we start, we apologize that this came in late because our orders sort of got delayed somewhat. Yep. But what matters is that we got it in our hands and we are going to show you what we have in here. This is really, really beautiful. Yeah, this is really beautiful. So this one came straight from the from the great uh, Vanguard and the great Buddy fight. Yeah, event, the right? Dai Vanguard side and Buddy side. Yes, in event in Japan event. this year. Yep. So uh, you've seen other people unbox this video, but we're going to unbox our video in our own special way because it's the new year, so mm -hmm. why not? So, all right, so let's just get straight into this, shall we? Okay. Yeah, so on the front here, you can see, <laughs> sorry, you can see both Night Rose, the new Night Rose, the Great Four Night Rose, mm -hmm. uh, and the Great Four Harry as well. Yep. Not to that away. So, uh, and basically, there are new cards in here. This is a supply set. So inside this supply set, it contains the following: uh, not just the, the the box itself, but it also contains a, a set of sleeves. Yep. For both of them, it contains the dead box. Uh, and as well as uh, as acrylic uh, acrylic key charm size keychain yes acrylic charm yep yeah which you can actually attach to the box itself the box itself as a whole we'll look into it more mm -hmm. and it also comes with four copies of wow. the new uh, stripe for both Night Rose and, and for Harry Happy New Year. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just get straight into this. Now we have uh, Ben here. Ben is a Night Rose player. And um, we also got Harry here as well, which Brian's gonna be an expert off very soon. Woo! If, you, if you guys want to help me, please call 999 right now, please. 9999, please. Nobody's gonna call Nobody's calling. Nobody's calling. They'll Nobody's encourage call you to play in my No! No one would hear you <laughs> scream, <laughs> Brian. Nobody will hear you scream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's just look more into the boss now. Yep. You open the flap, you can see uh, the Night full... Rose's thighs. Night Rose's thighs and yeah, Harry's, Harry's crotch. And the bird. And the bird. <laughs> All right, we look around the box yep. uh, before we actually open it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we basically have Nairos on the side, Harry here. There's just Grand Blue, uh, Pale Moon. Pale Moon. Yep. Um, then there's a, you know, there's um, a monochrome, I guess. Monochrome, yes. There's mm. like a monochrome coloring of Night Rose and Harry over yes. there as well. And at the bottom, not much as well. So let's get straight inside of the thing. Mm. So inside here, you can see that there's the charm. Yep. Yeah, what's so nice one? Oh, oh hi, Leon. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the acrylic charm that you guys are uh, that is showcasing. Yeah, it's it a bit there. hard to see, but uh, if you can put it closer to the camera, maybe you can see it a little. It's very small, but uh, if you're not really that hard of a size, I think this is this is perfect. Uh, yeah, it is perfect yeah. indeed. And yeah. it actually goes into slots for these. These are the boxes itself. Yep. You guys can see what do you guys think of the boxes? It's okay, like, I think mean, it does the job. So, but what's different the is that you know, there's a hole here. Yep. So you can put your charm right where it belongs. Or you can put it in your wallet, your keys, in your pocket, in your butt, anywhere, you know. <laughs> anywhere you want. <laughs> anywhere you want, as long as it's valid to put a charm over there. So yep. <laughs> anything's a tool if you're brave enough. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, indeed. So uh -huh. uh, this is pretty much it for that. And this one is the sleeves itself again. Yep. Uh, it's, it's been a while since we talked about the sleeves. Yes. Yeah, another supply set. Correct. Long time. And this contains 70 pieces. So uh, just more than enough for you to put strides, G Guardians, your main deck, and some others so you can put your. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> let's not go there. Yeah, let's not go there, indeed. So all right. So we'll go straight into the cards right now. So right mm. now we have the new uh, Night Rose card over here. And yep. We got the new Harry uh, Great Four over there. Mm. So we're just gonna open up. We're gonna explain the skills to you. Yep. Since I'm here first, I shall Night Rose will go first. Okay. So uh, do you, can you read the name for me while I read out the skill one you're done? Okay, sure. Uh, her Japanese name is Yobara no Kaizo. Alrighty, so, hey. yeah. <laughs> so basically this unit skill is that uh, it's an X skill once per turn. So you can pay yeah. the cost which is go ahead. You can pay the cost which is color brass one uh -huh. and flip a copy of uh, flip a face down copy of this unit uh, face up. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, from your drop zone, um, 
for your drop zone or choose a card in your drop zone for as many face up G units that you have plus one mm. and call them to separate regal circles as hollow yep uh, then if three or more were called then this unit gets plus one critical mm. then the second skill is an X skill on the regal circle which is uh, at the start of your battle step uh, for every night rose in your drop zone uh, choose one of your units and you get plus 5k yes so that is the skill over there so we go across the board we'll start with Ben first Ben you've had um, experience with this card right mm. yeah I've used the play quite a bit yeah so how was it uh, I can see that with now with new night rose we're able to swarm the field with much more efficiency mm-hmm. since <laughs> since <laughs> yes, passing tricky fields like for example with Gash we usually need some soul, soul setup yes, and correct. for um, let's see, remember the GR called Dragoot? Ah, uh, yes, Dragoot, yeah. Yes. Dragoot requires uh, a lot of cast of things. Say, and, uh, two to and drop one, yeah. Yes. And also field setup as well. Mm. Mm. And we also had, say, Negro Songer that also requires some form of field yeah, setup. Yeah, and, and not only that, it just only calls one unit from the drop zone. And yeah. You really didn't do much unless you have a lot face up mm. already. Mm. Yeah. So it still needs setup. Mm. But for this Night Rose, it's very different, I mm. can see. Very, very different indeed. Although, despite you have two shots, but I think that's two shots enough. Two shots is all it takes. Lot of, yeah, two shots yes. is all that it takes. Yeah, the, only, the only drawback that with this is that you need Night Rose in your drop zone. Mm. But if you're playing the old, uh, the very first Vampire Knight of the Night Hour, no, the Vampire Princess of the Nether something. Vampire Princess. One. Oh, you mean uh, Vampire Princess of the Night Fog, yeah. Uh, if you're playing that, you can mill for the setup first. Yeah. So once you hit GP2 on your first strike, uh, it's a lot easier for you to use this new Night Rose. Okay. But if you're using the new one, then it'll be a, dip- a little bit different. Mm. So what do you think, Ben? Um, okay, I would say at the same time, since so Night Rose's skill is an activate, not on not on when you enter the Vanguard circle. Mm, so mm. you can still alter your field itself a little bit, then activate the skill. So it gives mm. it also a little bit more flexibility as well. Mm, yep, that is nice sure. indeed. Good insights from, from two experienced Grand Blue players right in front of me. Now, over um, to Pastor John, because I need to ask you, yes. Pastor John, how balanced is this? Oh, it's not balanced at all. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna bring back the balance skill now. Yeah, why not? So <laughs> and this is off the charts. Anything that Ben plays is not balanced to me. Yeah, anything that Ben plays is not balanced. Right? So we must really really ask him. If I if I ask something, ask John. John, is he using cheating skills? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it's off the balance and it's a yes. Cheating skills. <laughs> cheating skills. So 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 uh, Brian on the waifu meter. Uh, this is. How many out of 10? Don't you dare say anything lower than 11. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's over 9,000. Oh, thank you! Over 9,000, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a reward, you, you get... Zero. I get... cheating skills. Wow! Colourful words come out already. All the colourful words come out. The first, the first beat that we heard this year. This year. Yeah. First beat that we heard this year. John, John, John. This just proves that you have terrible taste. Oh. <laughs> the rose is moving on. Yes, yeah, moving on. Yeah, so, moving on. let's get into the, the, the Pilmo one for Harry. So, yep. what the, the name of this deck right. is? The name of this unit is Masquerade Master Harry. Mm. So, his skill is a Magia skill, Auto Vanguard Circle. Kind of blast one and choose one unit with the same name as this unit from a G Zone and turn it face up and choose two of your other circles with cards on them and put them in your soul. So when this unit attacks the Vanguard, uh, when this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, cho- uh, choose up to three cards from your soul, call them to separate regard circles, at the end of the turn, put them back into your soul. His other skill, continuous uh, Vanguard circle, for every face up Harry in your G zone, this uh, all of your rear guards with Magia ability get plus 3k. Mm. It's okay, it's a bit watered, it's not uh, it's not as Cheating skills, cheating skills as, yeah, as Night Rose. <coughs> but, <laughs> but, but the good thing is that, right, uh, for this card, you can use it as a first strike potentially. And not only that, when you use it for first strike, you will already get 3k to all your um, all your Magia via guards. Yes, that is true as well. The idea of this is that if you want to abuse the continuous skill, you will probably want to play for. Uh, Dragon Masquerade Harrys, but of course that doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, uh, it doesn't unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't unfortunately after all. However, we through its own skill, just just using him twice already, you get plus 12k to your entire, you know. Uh, 9k only. Uh, 9k, yeah, 9k lah. Uh, yeah, oh, unless, okay, you're, unless you've already used uh, Dragon Masquerade Harry before. Uh, in mm. which case, it will be 12k lah, but yep. if that's not the case, then it's plus 9k. You mentioned Lapin plus 9k, then plus another 5k. 
Wow. That's very, very dangerous. Not Just not attacking alone. Three. Not counting the boost as well. The boost also got plus 9k as well. Uh, These ooh. are those they need to take off Brian because he'll be playing Magia very soon. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so not going right now, please. <laughs> please call okay. it. But, but jokes aside, uh, Brian, you have played the Magia deck before. You have some experiences with it, right? So what do you, how do you think that this will help with the, the current deck? Um... I would say that it will really help a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, and and you know, and example, if you are playing with against Sylin Choker, this. This yes, correct. Yes. Because this one doesn't choose units, it, it chooses, chooses the circles. circles. Yeah, mm. so that's the, the 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 difference maker over here. And it's especially helpful against uh, for Pemo players in the competitive scene, my right, Ben? Yeah. 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 Yes. Pemo is actually popping as a lot. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah, because we have cards like this to help them with deal with the unlocks. Mm. We give them the unlock so that they can actually have the field that they need to actually continue with their their yes, skills. Because they're known for for uh. for regards being and, locked down. And not only that, but the end of turn everything goes back into the soul. So there's nothing for your opponent to lock anymore unless they use skills like call as locked. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. even so, hey, more cards into the soul, why not? Any other insights you can add, Ben? Mm, no, it's Chicken fine, skills. But, uh, not John, really. you said that it was balanced. Uh, yeah. So, so what John, what's your verdict? I use it. <laughs> <laughs> I <get> it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now we know John has a personal vendetta against Ben, yeah. so he's not very reliable. Yeah, so, so not reliable. <laughs> so, so, okay. so you take it in your own strides if, if this is balanced or not, whether that is balanced or not. Uh, but this is all that we have for the supply sets uh, showcase for you guys. So once again, Happy New Year, Happy 2018. We mm-hmm. hope you guys had a wonderful New Year. Uh, do join us on all of our socials where you can find us and chat up with us as well on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, um, yeah, our blog, also guys, the com over there as well. And last but not least, if you like what you see and want to support the show directly, do consider support it's over on Patreon. Links on the description box below. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Look forward to a good year in CV- here in CVGS, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 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 Why, why are you so slow? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I just can't even slow by you. Oh, wait, I, I can't believe that you are not doing a voting system for me. Nobody wants to vote for you. Yep. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we still talking? <laughs> <laughs>